The Galaxy S22 is a more recent phone and it's a more feature-packed camera system as compared to the S21 FE. But you might be as surprised as we were when we actually took out the phones and started taking photos with them. Look at these two pictures and tell me which one you think is taken using the S21 FE. And what about between these two? And how about in this one? So yeah, at first the difference is not a whole lot. But if you start nitpicking, you'll start to see some differences. Firstly, the lens on the Galaxy S22 is a little wider. That is, it captures more in a single frame. So if you were standing with both the cameras at the same spot, the S22's lens is just going to capture a wider frame than the S21 FE. It's not a major thing, but just something I thought I'd highlight. Now let's talk about the more finer details. The Galaxy S21 FE takes a bit more coldish, bluish photos, while the S22 takes more natural and warm toned photos. For example, here in the S21 FE, you can see that the leaves are slightly cold green, while in the S22 here, it's a little warm green. Now look at the grass here in the S21 FE photo. It's definitely colder than what you see here in the S22. Now there is nothing wrong with this cold blue tone. Actually, some people prefer that because it looks more punchy. But again, this is totally a personal preference. Some people prefer the warmer natural tone. So this one really is just a draw because it's completely driven by personal preferences. But with that cold tone, you also get a bit more punch in your pictures. And that's what happens with the S21 FE. Look at this. Like the brick red color in the S21 FE photo here, it definitely pops more, it's got more contrast, more saturation, and even this green color over here, it just pops better, it's got more brightness, definitely has a more punchy effect. And now look at the brown color of the foam in the milk. In the S22, it's a bit flat, and on the S21 FE, it's got more punch, it's just got more color in it. Now, honestly, the Galaxy S22 has taken a more natural picture. That's actually how the milk foam was. But personally, and something if you do post a lot on social media, you and me both can agree that this picture is actually going to look better. But let's talk a bit about dynamic range. So in these two photos, you'll see that the Galaxy S22, there's just a bit more information. You can see more in the shadowy area. But if you look in the Galaxy S21 FE picture here, under the corners, it's darker, while in the S22 picture, under those corners, it's not as dark. So overall, they're almost neck to neck when it comes to daylight photography, with pros and cons in both. But when it comes to primary lens in daylight, I'm pretty much going to declare that as a draw. Now we will talk about low light, but just a little later, let's just first stay outdoors and also talk about ultra wide. You know, the dynamic range capabilities of the Galaxy S22, they become even clearer when you start comparing photos taken using the ultra wide lens. For example, look at this sky on the Galaxy S22 photo. It's so blue. And quite frankly, it was actually that blue uh, on that day. And then even in this picture, just look at the grass and the sky. Like it's so much more punchy as compared to the S21 FE picture here that does look a little flat when compared to the S22 picture. And again, look at that sky. You tell me, if you had to share one of these pictures with your friends on social media, which one would it be? And again, even in this one, you'll see that the S22 just displayed slightly better dynamic range and it just contains more information in the shadow areas. So yeah, when it comes to the ultra wide lens, I'm just going to give it away to the Galaxy S22. It does a far better job. The images are much more crispy. They just better dynamic range. And now coming over to the indoor photos. And as long as the lighting is sufficient, it's really hard to differentiate the pictures. They're again, very similar. And I really feel that the Galaxy S21 FE is giving the S22 a run for its money. But then as soon as the lighting goes a little low, you'll see that the Galaxy S22 image here on the left is a little brighter. But you know, it does get a little tricky with details. There are times when the Galaxy S21 FE has captured textures better than the Galaxy S22. Now look at these two pictures, for example. The foam here on the S21 FE, it's just better foam texture, but on the Galaxy S22 here, it just looks a little overexposed. Now in this one, just check out how sharp the leaves are on the Galaxy S21 FE. And now this is really weird. This was a bit difficult in terms of lighting, but check out that texture on the wall. The Galaxy S21 FE has captured the texture quite well, whereas the Galaxy S22 it just sort of smoothened the wall. And if you zoom in, you'll see that there's a bit of noise in the Galaxy S22 picture here. And that's really weird, especially when Samsung talked all about nightography with its Galaxy S22 series. 
Another example, if I zoom in on this picture here, I find the text to be a bit sharper on the Galaxy S21 FE than on the Galaxy S22. But then things take a turn in this picture. If you zoom in towards the ceiling, you'll see that the Galaxy S22 has dealt better with the noise and it's probably the smoothening that worked out in its favor. Smoothing has also helped in this one. If you zoom in on the air conditioning duct, you'll see that the S22 has done a better job. And even in this case, you'll see that the bricks have more definition and the ceiling has lesser noise. To be honest, I think there's this tug of war between the S21 FE and the S22 on this one. I mean, it definitely helps the extra smoothening on the Galaxy S22 because it removes noise when it's slightly low light. But then that's at the cost of texture that the S21 FE captures in better daylight conditions. So if it were up to me, I would personally prefer the S21 FE photos because I tend to take photos in broad daylight more than in low light conditions. But yeah, it's pretty much the same. All right, now let's talk about low light photography. And you know, Samsung made this whole thing about nightography, right? So it works to some extent, bear with me. So in regular evening shots like these, the S22 was slightly brighter, but I think both the phones took great shots. It's when it gets a little darker, the Galaxy S22 blows away S21 FE's pants. I mean, check this one out. The S21 FE has no sharpness. I mean, it struggled to even get the shot in focus. And the S22 here is really sharp. And even in this one, just look at the details captured by the S22, the stones and the detailing on it, quite on point. And although in this one, you can't really tell much, but the S22, it just has a better texture on the floor than on the S21 FE. The beer also looks sharper on the Galaxy S22 photo here as compared to the S21 FE. And there's also a slightly better play of dynamic range on the S22 picture. Just look at this one. The picture on the S22 here just has better colors than the colors on the S21 FE, which quite frankly looks washed out and out of contrast. And you know, there were times when I felt that the low light photos of the S21 FE added a weird magenta tone. It was really weird. And if you look at the S22 photos, they definitely look more natural. So I really think this nightography thing, of course, it's just a term, but whatever it is has definitely helped Galaxy S22 take the most uh, amazing low light photos that any Samsung phone ever has, flagship or non-flagship. Now, coming to the portrait shots, and I really think that the S21 FE is giving tough competition to the Galaxy S22. Edge detection was on point in both, and I really can't tell the difference. The only distinction really is that the S21 FE takes slightly blue tone images, whereas the Galaxy S22 takes more warm and natural tone photos. But other than that, both are doing a great job. Now look at these two photos and look at how nicely the Galaxy S21 FE has detected the edges of the straw pipe. I mean, it actually did a better job at edge detection than the Galaxy S22 here. And even from an overall brightness of the picture's perspective, I think the S21 FE did a better job. Even in terms of low light portrait shots, I think the S21 FE's clarity was at par with that of the S22. But when you look at this lamp photo, the Galaxy S22's picture is slightly sharper and more in focus and it's just more natural looking than the S21 FE's. Also, the S21 FE, again, has added a bit of magenta tone to its low light shot, but that's what it does to its low light shots and the S22 is still better at that. Now let's compare the video capabilities and let me get one thing out of the way. Sure, the Galaxy S22 can shoot in 8K resolution, but I don't know many people who use it. I don't use it and I think it's quite useless. So with that out of the way, we're going to look at the 4K video footage of both these phones and compare. So in regular daylight, both the phones shoot super stable, detailed and bright videos. But look at these two videos and focus on the red billboard. You'll see that the Galaxy S21 FE it's just more readable uh, because it handles reflections better. But if you look at the S22 one, it's bouncing off the sunlight a bit more and it's not as clear. Now, again, in this one, I can barely make out the difference. Both are handling the colors, the vibrance, the skies, and the harsh sunlight quite well in my opinion. And again, hats off to S21 FE for giving S22 such stiff competition. Now, in these videos, you will see that again, the Galaxy S21 FE has that cold bluish tone, whereas the Galaxy S22 has that natural warm tone. And very honestly, I do prefer this for video because this depicts 
like the S22 footage here depicts more of what the day scene was than the Galaxy S21 FE. And both the phones have optical image stabilization. So you can see in this video footage here that I'm walking indoors and the stabilization is very similar. But then as soon as you start decreasing the light, the Galaxy S22 performs better. Just notice the colors, the clarity, the details and the shakiness of this footage here in the S21 FE. It's definitely a bit more inferior than the S22, which clearly, I mean, in an obvious way has more details. And as soon as you reduce the lighting even further, the difference is very obvious. And this is where the optical image stabilization with VDIS plays its role in the Galaxy S22. And you can clearly see that it does slightly better than the S21 FE. Overall, I think both the cameras are doing an equally good job when it comes to videos. The Galaxy S21 FE just handles reflections better, especially in broad daylight, whereas the Galaxy S22 clearly has an edge in low light conditions. But I'm a little bit more inclined towards giving this one away to the Galaxy S22. And you know what? I'd say the same thing for selfies as well. Both did an extremely good job. And the only difference still being that the Galaxy S21 FE takes those bluish colder tones and the Galaxy S22 takes warmer and more natural tones. So in this case, it really boils down to your personal preference, which one you prefer. All right guys, so here's a quick video sample using the front facing camera. And more importantly, I'm doing this outdoors with just a bit of noise around. So you do get a pretty good idea about how good the microphones are on both the phones. So this is on the Galaxy S22 and this is on the Galaxy S21 FE. So yeah, just, you know, with some sun hitting my face directly, uh, I hope this also gives you a good idea about how it, you know, works with light. All right, this is now from the balcony of my studio. So it's slightly quieter maybe, uh, but yeah, just a little closer to my face so that you get a better idea of, you know, uh, the details captured in the skin and how the voice changes or the volume changes when you're holding it closer uh, to your phone. And I'm also changing the angle so that the sun comes and goes and that will get a better idea of how the lens handles uh, the light that falls in your face. Okay, so this is indoors. Uh, the room actually is completely dark uh, and I do have just a bit of evening sun coming through the windows right uh, in front of me. But I think this is primarily to understand how both the selfie cameras function in low light. Of course, I can go darker. Let's, let's try that. And it's pretty evident that the S21 FE is doing a phenomenal job as compared to the Galaxy S22. I mean, the S22 is quiet noisy as compared to what the S21 FE has. And S21 FE is also slightly more natural. Okay, so when it comes to these selfie videos, I'm just going to give the S21 FE an edge over the Galaxy S22 because given everything else equal, the S21 FE outperforms S22 in low light conditions. Sure, the Galaxy S22 captures more natural uh, selfies uh, in terms of video, but it's not good enough or significantly better to make the Galaxy S21 FE look bad. But one more thing, the S22 does capture better audio, so if that's important to you. Now, everything that I've talked about is what actually contributes to majority of your camera usage. Now, there are some modes like director's mode that allows your camera on the Galaxy S22 to capture through different lenses at the same time and switch while video recording. Sure, it's a great feature, but I'm not sure how many of you are going to really be using it. I know for a fact that I don't and I don't intend to. So it's there in the S22, not in the S21 FE, not a major deal breaker. Also, the Galaxy S22 has support for apps like Export RAW, which can, you know, let you take 16-bit RAW photos, export them to Lightroom and edit them professionally. It's not there for the Galaxy S21 FE yet, so that's another difference. Also, camera updates as software patches are going to hit the Galaxy S22 more frequently than they would to the Galaxy S21 FE, you know, because the S22 is flagship. So yeah, there are a few perks that the Galaxy S22 is going to enjoy that the S21 FE won't. But again, those may or may not be important for you. I just thought it's best to mention if you're comparing the cameras. But the moment of truth, guys, for the money, I mean, for the money, I think the Galaxy S21 FE is a super capable camera and equivalent to the Galaxy S22 and even better in some cases, as you've seen. And for the price, which is 20 to 30% cheaper than the S22, that just makes it better. 
And on top of this, the Galaxy S21 FE still ships with a very capable Snapdragon 888 chip. It still got a dynamic AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate display with Gorilla Glass Victus protection. And it's got the full entire suite of Fun UI 4.1 features that you only see in Galaxy flagship devices. So if you ask me, the S21 FE at this price is a very difficult device to walk away from. All right, that's pretty much it guys on the S21 FE versus the Galaxy S22. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And guys, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.